What's going on everybody? Money Shot here with another God's Eye perspective of a public War of Rights match. And if you are still not familiar with the game War of Rights, this is a 300 player count first person roleplay milsim set in 1862, the United States Civil War. Uh, it's going to be Napoleonic uh, musket style combat with line infantry and skirmishing tactics, uh, complete with artillery field cannons supporting them. Uh, this is ticket style play and there are buffers for fighting period style and listening to your officers and staying in line and there are penalties if you uh, get out of line and decide you want to fight the war on your own. Today's match is going to be on Schoolhouse Ridge, most notably known uh, for being captured by one Stonewall Jackson in uh, the opening moves for Harper's Ferry. That being said, I'm not going to keep you. Let's flip this on over and see how things unfold. Hope you enjoy. We are sitting here floating above Schoolhouse Ridge. We are just underway. 43 minutes on the clock. You can see opening moves taking place down there by the infantry. Uh, Union batteries are setting up. Trying to get cannons probably up and over the berm, I imagine, so that they can start uh, hammering away down here into the valley. Get down here, we can see already. Uh, boys in blue moving along the uh, main road here under artillery fire already trying to get some uh, positioning done before CSA can get down here you can see them moving right in the center of your screen into the hay field Advancing under volley of their friendly counter counterparts, I should say. Probably not counterparts, but uh, friendly regiments. A couple of companies sitting right here, uh, waiting for them to try to come up onto the main road, and that's going to be the opening skirmish. Nobody moving through the trees here. That is what this force is waiting for. So far, it is not going to materialize, and they'll be sitting there waiting. Get back down here and see what is going on. I would imagine uh, this initial contact isn't going to be too friendly for CSA, uh, but I don't think it was very friendly for the Union side actually. For some reason they were not able to make shots and CSA has definitely established a foothold in the center of, of the valley. Multiple companies, regiments coming down now and getting a, a solid base. This skirmish company right here, uh, really trying to make a difference. Uh, but they are falling back already uh, as the gray and butternut pours over the picket fences and really making a stand here at this tree. Union's main force now coming over. They realized that they weren't going to be picking anybody off coming through the trees. Uh, and that is going to put a stop to any advance that CSA was making. Artillery hunting though. Uh, and if they get rid of one, 
go any luckier than they just did. They're gonna do a lot of damage to this Union. This Union Regiment. CSA pulling all the way back to try to clear one of their flanks so they can maybe reestablish the foothold that they had here. Uh, I would say they still somewhat have a foothold in this, uh, down here in this valley. Uh, they are getting seriously pushed out though. Uh, and the main body, I would say, has now become this force rather than the original section of fence that they came up. So far, not a lot from that Union battery up there on the hill. I imagine they are still... Oh, I speak. <laughs> and it looks like they have now gotten themselves into position to begin uh, dropping some bombs here. Get the camera back, and I'm not sure why. Yeah, there we go. From a distance, guys. I can't the reload no, no, we're not. Reload we are absolutely not. Down. Okay. Now we're doing good. I want to play it safe. If we, if we gamble, uh, uh, a lot of union down there is keeping these guys at bay. This is the edge of the map. Uh, there is a lot more union down here than I think they realize. Either that, or they do realize it, and they know that they, there's not much for them to do right now. Uh, there was. <laughs> Artillery finding their mark. Really just letting that line have it. And a couple of reinforcements in gray and brown sneaking up here for some close range uh, quick, quick shots. Actually, one of them has jumped the fence and is actually inside, inside the wire. And this large Union force has really been turned into uh, a non-existent entity. Uh, and the main body of the CSA has moved in response. Using this uh, terrain guys, here like, to their advantage, they're now going to move up onto the edge of the fence. Find out that uh, these boys really don't exist anymore, and they are going to reestablish what they had here. Maybe even moving down to this point here. It uh, does appear to be a little bit of a rise in the road, which would give them a little bit of advantage. Union trying to re reform here uh, Center Valley and make uh, plans for a push down the road and I'm willing to bet that these boys are going to be moving down here to try to get down into the water Uh, at which point that they, they'll probably come through well No, they are not doing anything like that <laughs> I guess they Are kind of holding themselves in reserve Let's see what they're doing here. Uh, I believe they might want CSA to move up and try to take the objective point. Um, so that they can then quickly counter that. Gorgeous shot by the Union Battery just nailing the flag bearer of the CSA regiment. <laughs> from quite a ways out. And the match
much has turned into a long range chess game in an open field. As we thought we were going to see, uh, this troop has moved down into the water and they're using the water as cover in order to move, move way up on this, uh, on the southern boys here, whether their lines can see them, I am not sure. Get down to the we'll see. They probably can see them now. Um, they, well, they know they're there now. They are firing on them. don't know that that was probably the greatest idea. Um, they're now downhill and the CSA has the cover that they just had. They might have wanted to grab the fence and held the fence, but uh, they chose to fall back um, and harass and perhaps that's what they have planned. I'm not sure. Mr. Low to move out try to move up to this next ridge here that they're going to use as cover as you can see here very well here. hidden by this ridge line this hill a rise in the hill And CSA has taken the point. They're getting a morale boost. Yes, sir. And they have begun to now establish solid battle lines on the field. And I imagine they will slowly begin to wither away any new moves the Union makes. Uh, Union is trying to get down into uh, the cover of the creek bed and the death light that it does provide they need to do it all at once and hold get up, up there up. quick and fast hold right up into their faces uh, if they continue these harassing and fall back tactics it's not going it's not going to pan out for them very well Virginia Company A, come this way. Let's not waste numbers needlessly. There we go. We ain't got U.S. Grant's numbers. And they're going to continue <laughs> to do the uh, the fire and fall back method. Um, however, CSA has now. Put themselves in a position where they're not falling back anywhere but under fire uh, solid lines here have now re reinforced that uh, harassment point so maybe this will establish a new front line this might just end up being a skirmish on either side of the road up and over, up and over. Up and over boys cross get that rebel flag down shoot that rebel flag down if you have a bullet Um, and actually, CSA's a eagerness to push into this might do them harm in the end. They have captured the point. If they push too hard and falter, the Union is going to retake that. As General each team slowly pushes along the snake fence here. Seconds on the flag, 
Over. Union trying to get back into the road. Artillery landing shots from both teams. But both teams land short and fall amongst their own players. Another shell coming in. Uh, and it would appear that this may... Nope, we are going to stay like this for for the time Grab being. The flag. Grab the flag. This super Grab slow. Skirmish right here that we have going on. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, there, right there, Union on the left. Uh, CSA boys on the right. Nobody, I don't think, really can tell how many people are on each other's sides. And we are now down to about seven people per side. Maybe, give or take, three or four. <laughs> Nobody's moving one way or the other. Couple of stabbies going on. One brave soul sneaking, sneaking up, and he goes down. But there goes that Rambo officer again. And remember, proximity chat is persistent even after you are dead. So you've got a lot of uh, psychological stuff going on down here as well. People telling people to retreat or fire that are on the wrong teams. We we got. And uh, now the reinforcements are going to cut straight into the Union's, the Union side of the snake fence. I imagine the rest of the CSA is going to probably move out and charge. But uh, let's take a look at where the Union reinforcements are probably coming from. Here they are. They've just formed up uh, using, <laughs> using high ground. And they're going to pour in long range. On the fishbowl. Uh, we are going to be maneuvering down at the Hold double quick. Actually, fix your bayonet. Maneuver to the right. Fix. Right face, gentlemen. Right face. Right we're face. Maneuver. Move it out. Right. Right. To the right. All right. Yeah. Company A. Right. Right. Company A. Right. 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 Now they're going to be together. shifting. Oh, wait, our, okay, um, okay. I don't. I would have probably just charged straight on in. But as it sits, uh, the rebels have held the snake fence in what was absolutely a crazy point blank skirmish. It went on for quite some time. Quite a few revolutions of uh, reinforcements right there. You can see the absolute carnage along this lane uh, that was this skirmish. And Union might have pulled it off, but they uh, they held their reinforcements to the top of the hill there uh, while the CSA boys poured on in. And uh, it allowed them to hold the ground. <laughs> Good job, CSA. And Union is now going to reform and attempt to come up with a new plan. You can see some CSA members now pushing down the road to further create a footprint here uh, on this valley and in front of the point there on the right of your screen. These are all CSA units minus what you're seeing at the top left. That is a Union force and then Union is established way down here. Driving these guys back, but they have driven so far forward that they aren't really minding that they're getting pushed back uh, Probably by design to be honest and An artillery member has just been banned From the server for too many team kills not paying attention to what's in front of his cannon before he's pulled the lanyard and really lay 
made some hurt into his own team, it's honestly a very good thing that they are not currently getting charged out, although they are getting pushed, and so their lack of reinforcements right now and their short numbers from that artillery strike might might hurt them pretty decently you can see they've kind of pushed themselves together in order to uh, to wait for their reinforcements to come in they're slowly getting enveloped you've got their uh, enemy artillery here up on the on the ridge line a uh, company or two right down the main road and they're getting swallowed up from down below but it's something that uh, we should not be surprised about is that CSA is just not worried about it they do not fall back they're here to to hold this position they're gonna have to fall back though in the end uh, it's a ticket match uh, and their tickets are gonna determine whether they do hold the ground or not uh, they've decided that they are going to reposition to high ground rather than just a, a full-on re retreat something that's probably for the best probably a good decision uh, Union is way down here even uh, retaking the point well the CSA is all tied up up on the hill uh, that's not gonna go over very well at all for the for the CSA I uh, Union just goes to taking losses Rebels now lost point, and they are really heavily engaged now all throughout the valley. They have lost their footholds, and they have lost their intended points of control, and they really need to reform and, and discuss. Union slowly moving everybody up forward again to retake this point. They are just a few seconds from capturing again. And you can see this is completely flopped. Uh, other than this star right here and this star right here, these are now all Union troops. Whereas before, we saw how solidly they were CSA. Not sure what that artillery fire is, is hitting currently. Down the road, if you cannot see me, right. uh, you cannot see me, oh, more right. Print card on the road. Now, yeah. real right. somber yeah. amongst the CSA right. ranks in what is normally a pretty jubilant and relaxed atmosphere on the proximity chat. Things are pretty quiet yeah. now after they really took a whoop in there. Union having taken the point now going to pull back slightly and allow CSA to make the next move which they immediately do and the map has really become relatively quiet <laughs> uh, we've really turned this into a grind on who's gonna get tired of waiting first uh, 
CSA moving up on point now. And the Union, I'm assuming back here trying to uh, formulate endgame. Alright, all, all, right, all the company, uh, get your guys on. Endgame plans here. Uh, I have like six guys. Alright, everybody, stand in line. Guys. All right. I, I think it'd be guys. best. My apologies, not guys. I think it'd be best if you merge all hey, your uh, Hold your fire. Union has re engaged up on point. Or the CSA has skipped it. Uh, interesting skirmish going on. That <laughs> will uh, really put a dent. In this block and maneuver that they are going to be getting charged perhaps no it's a skirmishing little skirmishing team here and we got a very decent battle line formed Quick push time. for the land grab here yeah, by go. this regiment of CSA boys. I imagine they're going to try to take this area right in here and get some fire down on this main force of Union troops who are trying to Runs the clock okay, down. Nailed, but Heck. Interesting, long, long range canister shot. Decent volley there by the Union. Try to push these boys back just a little bit uh, and keep them from doing whatever it was they were planning on doing. They did lose quite a few <laughs> boys in the process. So quite accurate. Quite an accurate volley. Company reform here. By the Union. CSA is going to try and do the same thing, but they are um, going to be under constant fire from the rocks right up there, center screen. Yeah. Yep, they are going to try to hit them first. Got a volley off in return. And it would appear that the entire match has gone to volley fire. Very poor shooting by the CSA though. They are firing a long ways and uphill and they have these rocks to worry about. Steady. Fire! Excellent. And a return volley by the skirmishing group. Get down here and we'll assess the uh effectiveness there didn't really seem to be as effective as the other uh, regiment was but they are definitely getting chewed up give them some help and there is a, another southern regiment trying to now push through the trees and take the center of the map from down below and they are giving solid volley fire this is a large force of rebels 
So you might want to consider joining Red Team D so it's not Take him ready boys, take aim. Steady. Steady. Fire. The rest of you that were not on the white line. Decent volley. It is going to be into a picket fence though. effective as they would like it to be for that reason alone uh, no other CSA regiment is pushing to try to link up with them now they're probably going to make a large play for the center of the map They should be... Where are they now? Yep. We just hadn't gone far enough. Alright. The, they still have the same problem is that their fire is uphill and into a picket fence. And that is not going to do much other than suppress the Union soldiers that are standing directly behind that fence. A uh, small, small force here has taken a position real close here on the fence and they're gonna push up, but is it, it's not gonna do much. Way too much Union, way too much fence. get pushed back okay. down into the creek bed. Main CSA here. Um, really going to try and charge. Whether that is to make it to the creek bed first or all the way up, I'm not sure. But they really need to, they really need to move it. Get to the fence. Nope, they're going all the way. They're going to go Get all the, the way. Uh, Union is going to rush their boys down here to block, and CSA is not going to get over the fence. And if they do not get over the fence, then they are not going to. They're not going to do anything with this charge. It will die where they have where they have stopped here along the fence. Whether that means they reestablish though and they get some reinforcements in and create a skirmish remains to be seen. And that looks like that might be the case. Plenty of flags sitting down here. Union really not able to push them back down into the creek. And so we might be looking at another pretty nasty skirmish along the picket fence, snake fence here. We'll get down here a little bit in the fray. Uh, mind you, this proximity chat is not anything I can control, so if you do hear anything while we are down here, I take no fault for any of that. And as I've always said, when I'm creating for this game, that uh, viewer discretion is advised for audio. Although people are being relatively behaved tonight, I have heard a couple instances where words definitely did not need to be stated. Oh, and there went the Union, the Union main body takes a direct hit by their own artillery, and uh, they are awfully lucky that they are not currently engaged. And that possibly even was a, boy, I'm not going to say it. I might have been a deliberate. We'll just see if this team kills. Has been a little from deliberate. The <laughs> no, like they a, can't a, see, so it would appear they don't really know. What's crazy now, too, is we have all these guns out here, but we can only man, like, four of them because everyone's fucking... <laughs> yeah, everyone's, everyone's getting banned. 
Um, and that actually is going to cause the Union <laughs> to pull back a little bit uphill and re, uh, reform. Company waiting to uh, ambush anybody reinforcing this area here and we'll see what the rest of the CSA reinforcements are doing. They are going to come probably straight down here and probably take the point of contention and it looks like that's probably what they're doing. The Union has to really get down here quick and block that. Here they come. They're on the hill fighting their arty, right? Is that what that means? Oh, I'm retarded. Never mind. Real quiet CSA team tonight. Just, just completely different from what you uh, what you're normally used to hearing as you come through their ranks. <laughs> they are not used to being beaten back. Union still sitting way back out in here, uh, waiting for CSA to make the first move. Why we, uh, why that person ran all the way across the world to die was beyond me. Uh, but that was what they did. <laughs> Union skirmishing, driving back any reinforcements that try to push through this tree line. Uh, relatively damaging move by any of these players that are doing it. <laughs> You're not helping your team out really at all. And we're going to try another push. Uh, I don't think we've taken. No, we are not taking the point. We're slowly trying to take it now. Volleys again commence across the valley. And we have CSA with flags attempting to take the stream bed, but uh, they get smashed right away. <laughs> and we are once again back to this long range duel. Would appear that those top two stars might be CSA trying to make a uh, name for themselves down there at the bottom uh, inside the thicket or inside those woods area. Large regiment here continues <laughs> to keep Union from really making any sort of uh, chess moves on this side of the map. Decent uh, amount of cover here for when they reload and then they kind of just run up the hill and uh, fire on whatever they're going to fire on. Currently, they are keeping this unit up here on the side of the hill. Both sides pretty quiet. Not a lot of chitter chatter in the ranks. Alright, boys, thank you for up the hill. Go ahead to that south, south, left. Rush straight ahead. Steady. Fire. More of a calm, relaxed atmosphere well, we here on the Hold main on. Union Force. Did get one kill there with that volley. Yeah, you can see why uh, 
so many troops were utilized. All those men firing to take down one. Is there a bullet drop? And if you heard that, there most it definitely is, is bullet drop in the game. Copy that, it you. is a thing. Uh, bullet rise is also in the game. If you know how. Uh, a bullet's trajectory works. It is. In fact, part of the game. And there are some skirmishers down here trying to establish something down here, but uh, it's really amounting to not much more than uh, mosquitoes. Union just calmly shifting positions and returning fire where they need to. CSA is taking this point again though, uh, and that will cause Union to react. Taking off the point. Are we on the point? No, no we're, we're not. In the now. middle of the road we're good. Alright, yeah, we gotta land the... some shots. So get the fuck up here. They were crawled, but they're dead now. <laughs> well, they were taking the point. Uh, but they did not want, uh, they did not want that. They were not wanting Union's reaction. But it was definitely too late and they got the reaction anyway. They will now have to counter a charge. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult for them to do. If they can get established onto this fence before Union really gets up here and, and does anything, then it will be uh, piecemeal for them. Behind you. And Union will just continue to fall as they approach the fence. Yep, there you go. As this road continues. To soak up the blood. In the shadow of this of this massive redoubt ridge. Union trying to get something established here to push these boys back into the wood line. But I don't think they're going to get them out of the valley. Quite a few flags still still uh, up. And there is really no reason for any of these boys to be spawning back at their main camp. Take a look up here from a uh, ways off. And we see uh, CSA coming back in now. Uh, their officers from the uh, top right. And the skirmishing groups for the Union at the bottom left and up the hill there on the left.
cannon fire coming in from both directions, respectively, <laughs> as uh, they want to get into the into the fray as well. And Union Battery finding the first mark, turning somebody into Pink Miss there, right there, <laughs> right there on the fence. <laughs> but the CSA uh, counter battery really pounding that uh, Union battery in return, punishing them for uh, what they have taken. A decent return. Solid, however on target <laughs> as they fire another one and take out another couple of uh, CSA boys down here in the fray. And Union Artie is now actually starting to become a problem. You can see less and less and less of the CSA boys. No uh, rebel flags are currently up. One small flag now raised. And they continue to be slowly driven backwards and into the stream bed by the Union boys. You've got Union really pouring down the uh, stream bed as well really just driving the CSA back down and off of this uh, off this hill and and back over to the other side of the valley really kind of just pinned in this one little area uh, they they really cannot pull back it's not going to do them any good to pull back and they cannot move forward in any direction they are going to get squeezed here by this union, <laughs> union force coming through the stream bed they are gonna, that will probably force them back or be wiped out. Either way, it's not good and uh, it's only gonna increase their headaches. Both teams now breaking. And Union firmly controlling the point. Union still moving to counter anything that the CSA is doing. Minus. Doesn't look like they really saw what was going on down in here. And there's quite a few, quite a few boys spawning in down here. Uh, that could really be a thorn if utilized appropriately. Interesting. And this small company has taken notice of these guys down here. Uh, they could have charged. They could have jumped that fence quick enough. They probably would have done a good chunk uh, and forced a reaction. But uh, they've been noticed and now they are engaged in place. 
There's a single enemy to our right hand side over the street guys. Be he careful. left. He left. Union really just uh, sitting back and countering when they need to. I'm not sure that they see this charging group of CSA coming up the, the left side for them up the fence. Uh, but they again stop short. And this will be a skirmish. Just a gunfight. Uh, the problem that they have, though, is that they are. He fucking died. He's dead. We might Paul go to the last stand if these guys don't start <laughs> taking cover. Into firing lines, battle lines, and established <laughs> formations. And so they will first get picked off one by one by one by one by one by one. What should probably take place is a uh, skirmish line out here to the right that then advances in wheel down. And the clock continues to drop. Uh, Union now pulling back and allowing CSA to make a move. And they will push their main force up. Uh, but uh, Union appears to have stopped and reformed and there's gonna be a close quarters fight here not really a charge by any means they just seem to have ran into the union force that was reforming and now you've got a full-on melee flags against flags and there is no telling how this one's gonna pan out i imagine the artillery will put a quick silence to this one if they get into it. Flags going down for Union. Oh, one, two, now three flags down for the Union. CSA is going to slowly still bring troops in. And in the end, they do win the day. <laughs> and then they get hit by both their own cannons and the Union cannons <laughs> as artillery continues to be a love-hate deal <laughs> on this map, in this match for both sides. And here we go, right back into another melee as the CSA boys are coming back from their current, their last battle <laughs> and run right into a skirmishing group from the Union. No flags on this Union side. It's not that big of a uh, company though and they are brushed aside with only a minimal effort. And it is suddenly CSA on the field by themselves. A lot of Union flags are on the ground and troops are all right. And what I didn't realize at the time was that Union was in last stand here and CSA has taken the field. There isn't another response from the Union, at least one of any significance in any amount of time. And through just pure persistence, CSA has won this match. Another win from CSA. Great job. Thanks for watching. Take care.
were set back on their heels, but they kept with it and in the end were the only army on the field. <laughs> One last sneeze over proximity chat. Good job again, CSA. I will leave you with map. Ridge Take care. The third furrow of elevation that occurred to the west of the Harpers Ferry Peninsula. And it was there that Stonewall Jackson arranged his three divisions of Jones, Lawton, and A.P. Hill. The Confederate forces were very surprised by the lack of challenge from Colonel Miles and the garrison, who had perhaps taken General McClellan's instructions to hold the town at all costs too much to heart. On the evening of the 14th, several regiments from Jones's brigade attempted a night assault to distract the Federals from the flanking movement of A.P. Hill's brigades across the Shepherdstown Road and to the south of the Charleston Pike. All right, guys, one last time again. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe below. Share this if you've got somebody else who might enjoy this content. In the comments, please let me know how I'm doing. If there's anything you want to see more of, if there's anything you would like me to do a little bit differently to help uh, really bring the game to you, please tell me down below. If you got any questions about the game or if you're curious about the game as well, drop your comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, I'll see you on the field.